Now that our store has been created, it's time to dive into the management aspect of running a store. In this lesson, we'll take a look at the emails associated with WooCommerce. We'll also take a look at the customizational options which are available to ensure that all of our emails match our store's branding. We'll then learn how to create and use coupon codes. And finally, we'll take a look at the process of what happens when a customer places an order. One of the many great things about WooCommerce is that it automatically creates all of the emails for your store. If we head over to WooCommerce, Settings, Emails, you can see the list of emails which have been created. If you see the purple tick, it means that this email is enabled for your store. We have the email title, which also acts as a clear indicator on which action this email is linked to. Hovering over the question mark allows you to view more information about this email. In the recipient column, we can see who the email is sent to. As you can see, the first few emails are admin based and are sent to the email address associated with the admin account. Where we see customer, these emails are sent to the customer who places the order. If we now select the manage button, we can further customize the details associated with each individual email. As you can see, we first of all have the option to enable or disable this email. Next, we can amend the recipient. If you need to enter multiple addresses here, do so by separating them with a comma. Both subject and email heading can be amended if required, and you can also make use of the shortcodes provided. To view these shortcodes, hover your mouse over the question mark and use these shortcodes to dynamically populate these fields. If you would like to add any additional information to this email, you can do so here and it will be displayed at the bottom of the email. And finally, you're able to amend the email type. Once finished, be sure to save your changes. If we now head back to the email tab and scroll down, you'll see that there are several options to customize our email. We can first of all amend the from name and from address. Next, we can customize the template. Clicking the preview link shows you an example of what your emails will currently look like. Pretty boring, I'd say, so let's make some adjustments and make the email template fit with the style of our website. We'll paste the URL of our logo into the header image field, and you can find this by visiting the media library, selecting your logo, and then the copy URL to clipboard button. We can now amend the footer text, and just like with the email title, we can use the available shortcodes if required. Change the base color, background color, body background color, and body text. If we now save our changes and view our preview again, you'll see that the email template now fits in well with our store and is ready for when our store goes live. Next, we'll explore the inbuilt coupon options in WooCommerce. Generating coupons is a really useful feature built into WooCommerce which allows you to generate discount coupons for a variety of factors. Head over to Marketing, Coupons. And if this is your first time creating a coupon, you will see the Create Your First Coupon button. Select this button and let's go over the configuration options which are available. We first see the Coupon Code field. We can manually type something here or use the helpful Generate Coupon Code button. Next, we can enter a description, although this is an optional field. And then we'll move on to Coupon Data, which is where we'll define the rules for our coupon. Discount Type allows us to choose from a percentage, fixed cart, or fixed product discount. We'll choose Percentage. In the Coupon Amount field, we'll enter 10 as we would like our discount code to apply a 10% discount to the order. Next, we have the option to enable free shipping with the use of this coupon code. Please note that you must have a free shipping method configured for this option to work. To find out how to set up a free shipping method, check out our dedicated section on shipping. Finally, in this section, we can set a coupon expiry date. If your coupon should only run for a specific amount of time, you can define that here. We'll leave this blank as we would like our coupon to be available indefinitely. Now switch to the Usage Restrictions tab. Here we can set any restrictions associated with our coupon. We can first of all specify a minimum and maximum spend, and then we can state whether this coupon can be used in conjunction with other coupons. 
Next, you can define if you would like to disable the use of this coupon on sale items. The next area allows you to really fine tune the use of your coupons on specific products, categories and email addresses. Use the product and category search boxes to find these values. And in the email field, you can manually type a customer's email address. This is extremely useful if you plan on sending a coupon code to a specific customer and do not wish for it to be used by anybody else. Our discount is going to be available to everybody without any restrictions, so we'll leave these all blank. Finally, we have the usage limits area. You can state how many times you're happy for the coupon to be used before it's void. Leaving this blank will default to unlimited, and this is true for the next two options as well. Next, you can apply a usage limit per item, and last of all, you can apply usage limits per user. Once you have finished configuring your coupon, select Publish and your coupon is now ready for your customers to use. If we head to our store, we can test to see if it works. Add a product to the cart, and then proceed to the cart page. Enter your discount code. And there you go, you can see the discount of 10% is being applied to our order. Now that your store is configured and ready for the world to see, it's important to understand what happens when a customer places an order. We've configured everything so far to ensure that the correct emails are sent out and also made sure that those emails are matched with your branding. When a customer successfully places an order, they will receive an email confirmation of this. At the same time, an email is sent to you, the store owner, which provides the details of their order. If we visit the WordPress dashboard and open the screen options drop down, you'll see that WooCommerce has a helpful widget which gives you a quick overview of any orders which have recently been placed on your website. To view more information about the orders which have been placed, simply navigate to WooCommerce, Orders. Here you're presented with a list of all of the orders which have been placed on your website. By default, this list will show the newest orders at the top. The list gives you a clear to see overview of each order which has been placed and shows you the order number, customer name, date of the order, status of the order and the total. If we now select the order number, we're taken to the edit order screen. Here we can view more details about the customer and the order. In the status drop down, we can amend the status of the order. By default, it will always show as processing, but if you've completed the order and the product is on the way to the customer, Simply change this to completed and then update the page. This will send an email to the customer informing them that their order is now complete. Next, you'll see that we have an order actions drop down. This can be really helpful if you ever need to resend notifications to your customers or to regenerate the download permissions on digital products. Another useful feature on this page is the ability to save a note to the order. As you can see, these notes can be private, meaning that they'll only appear in the admin panel, or you can send a note to your customer. Remember to update the order once you finish making any changes to ensure that all notifications are sent to the customer. WooCommerce makes light work of running an online store. With its many built-in features like email customization and coupon creation, you have an extensive toolkit at your disposal which will allow you to provide a professional and efficient service. WooCommerce also has an easy to follow process for managing orders and with just a few clicks you're able to undertake the necessary daily admin tasks associated with running a store. In our final lesson we'll explore some additional marketing features using both WooCommerce and Elementor to give your website visitors a great user experience, ultimately resulting in more sales for your store.